Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 21st of March, 2022, of the third week of Lent. Give admittance to Christ and refuse entrance to all beside. When thou hast Christ, thou art rich, and he is sufficient for thee. He will provide for thee and be thy faithful procurator in all things, so that thou needest not to trust in men. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, teach me to love your ways that I may be quick to renounce sin and willfulness in my life. Make me whole and clean again, that I may delight to do your will. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Naaman had to sacrifice his self-importance. Are not the rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? In order to receive the purity he desired, similar disgruntled sentiments held by the people of Nazareth turned them murderous toward Jesus. They want to throw him off a hill. We bring all our self-absorption, our sense of privilege and entitlement, to the hill of Calvary to throw it off there. The Epistle There were many people with leprosy in Israel, but none were made clean except Naaman the Syrian. A reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 5, verse 1. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Aram, was highly esteemed and respected by his master, for through him the Lord had brought victory to Aram. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Aramines had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram, I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel he brought the letter, which read, With this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king, Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan and your flesh will heal and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and the Farpar better than all the waters of Israel? Could not I wash in them and be cleansed? In this he turned about in anger and left. 
But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more, since he said to you, Wash and be clean, should you do as he said. So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 42 verse 2 Responsorial A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Gospel Acclamation Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. I hope in the Lord, I trust in His Word, with him there is kindness and plenteous redemption. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel like Elijah and Elisha, Jesus was sent not only to the Jews. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 4 verse 24. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Sarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, 
to hurl him down headlong, but he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Daily Meditation If he had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? 2 Kings 5, 13 Naaman wasn't an outcast. Despite his disease, he had met with the king of Israel after all. So his leprosy was likely some other disfiguring skin condition and not actually Hansen's disease. But any affliction can drive a person to great lengths and this commander of the army of Aram was prepared to go to great lengths. What he wasn't prepared for was a simple cure. We've all felt something of Naaman's desperation. Our relationship struggles, persistent sin patterns, or physical or emotional illnesses can seem overwhelming, too big, too complicated, too painful to ever be resolved. But God knows that you need healing and nothing is beyond His ability to heal, to reconcile, and to restore. He knows the best way for you to be healed, though it might not look like what you expect, and He wants to make it simple for you too. One simple avenue for healing is the sacraments, which give growth and healing to Christ's members. Catechism 798 In the sacrament of the anointing, God gives special grace to restore and strengthen you when you are tried by illness. In the sacrament of reconciliation, God can heal you of every kind of sin, whether jealousy, anger, or resentment, and bring you peace as you are reconciled to Him. And in the sacrament of the Eucharist, Jesus can fill you with grace, strengthen your love for God and neighbor, and help you let go of harmful behavior. Not all of us need physical healing, but everyone needs spiritual healing. This week, Set aside any disdain for the simple cure and your own thoughts of how God ought to heal. Let nothing keep you from the grace He offers in the sacraments. Consider going to daily Mass or confession. Trust your Father to meet you there with the balm of mercy and grace and the strength to be made whole. Trust Him to provide that simple cure. Lord, I need your healing today. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora 
of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.